We are celebrating Norus, otherwise known as the Persian New Year this week. And to help us celebrate is lifestyle expert Kathy Kopcut. Kathy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yes. I'm so excited to be here with you. You're the perfect person to talk about the significance of Norus, and you brought a bunch of yummy foods to help us celebrate. I did, so let's kick this off. So Persian New Year, Norus, means that it's the day where it coincides with spring equinox when everything in the world is aligned and that happens on March 20th at 2.24 p.m. this year. Okay, so we've got some time yes. and to prepare for the celebration, you have to talk about this awesome spread you brought. Okay, so I've got to tell you, so for every Persian New Year, you always put a half scene out and what a half scene means in Farsi is the seven S's. So let's kick this off. Okay. Our first one is seed. It starts with an S and it's garlic and that symbolizes medicinal. Oh. Then we have tohumo. Now, tohmamok is eggs. I have to say, this year, since eggs is a little bit expensive, right. go ahead and get your glitter eggs <laughs> and, or get whatever ornament egg that you want, and that symbolizes fertility, so All that's right. great. And then we have our tulips, our flowers, which symbolizes Beautiful. love, right? I love our tulips. Uh -huh. Our mirror is always on the table, symbolizes reflection. Mahi, that's another, I'm notorious for killing goldfish, <laughs> notorious. So I buy a fake goldfish and you know what? That symbolizes love and that's okay. Okay, <laughs> it's symbolic, go. yeah. Sabzi starts with an S and um, this is just wheatgrass. It symbolizes rebirth. Mm -hmm. Sumac, um, you can actually use it as food seasoning also and that symb symbolizes the color of the sunrise. Serke, which is vinegar, it's white vinegar for age and patience. Got it. Samanu, it is sweet pudding for affluence, seke coin, and that symbolizes wealth and prosperity, and samanu, it's dried fruit, which is the lotus tree, um, symbolizes love. So these, Kathy, are all things you can get at your local grocery store. Correct, um, at, at any of your local grocery store and or the Persian market. And I've got our candles out, and I love levitate candles because of the fact that it's a family business and they're Persian and Ooh. they're so sweet. Can I smell it? Absolutely. And they've got different um, scents, and, but I, we put out the Be Bold and Be Kind candle. Oh, this is amazing. It's beautiful. The rose is my favorite. And it's levitate candles. Levitate candles. Awesome. Yes. Next up, after you're done celebrating, we're going to start eating. Of so course, I made yes. our traditional meal. I used um, our place pots and pans because it goes literally from your stove to your table because it's so beautiful and it is nonstick. So I made sabzi polo, as mm -hmm. you can see, and we made our traditional fish and then just drizzle it with the um, Garcia de la Cruz olive oil. Looks so good. Kathy, you were cooking the fish while we were getting ready. It was. Tell us, is this easy to make? Super easy to make. It's just garlic and herbs and then throw it into your frying pan with a little bit of your oil and you're good to go. Probably like seven minutes on each side. And talk about this rice. The rice is sabzi. The, it's the different types of sabzi, which is um, uh, vegetables, and okay. you just mix it in with the, it's white rice, white jasmine rice, and just mix it in oh, okay. and you cook it, and that's it. So th these are pretty simple recipes. I think even novice cooks can do it. Absolutely, 100%. You don't need to be a chef at all. This is super simple and easy. And you know what? The, the vegetables, if you don't have time to cut up the vegetable, they do have them already pre packaged at the Persian market. Perfect. Yes. That's the kind of celebration right? I'm in for. Exactly. <laughs> Everything's pre-made for me. That's, That's great. Right. It's perfect. Yeah, these are so, all pretty simple and easy ways to celebrate. You know, yes. Kathy, again, the significance of Norus is so beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. It's the one time of year where everything is aligned. Mm -hmm. And, you know, hopefully our hearts, our love, just everything. Pull it together, people, That's and right. enjoy your family. Yeah, it's Persian wonderful. or not, we can all celebrate. Absolutely. Okay. At least eat. Yeah, for okay. sure. That, there we go. <laughs> Kathy, thank you so much for bringing these wonderful ideas and explaining the significance of Norus. Thank you for having me, and I wish everyone a happy Norus, Persian New Year. Oh, same to you. Thank you. All right, thank you. And you can find this segment on our website, kcalnews.com. Just click on Scene on TV. Thank you for watching KCAL News Weekend Mornings. We'll be right back.